J.R. South says, Dear Jonathan, as a man that has been forced to wear sandals for work, I have to ask, what is your favourite shoe? Are you a fellow bootsman, a sneaker wearer, or a flip-flop enjoyer? After such a long time with feet unburdened by real shoes, how do you cope? Do you now wear moccasins? <laughs> also, this is my biannual opportunity to remind everyone that Matt is incorrect. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll finish the sentence. Matt is incorrect, and Megadeth is, in fact, better than Metallica. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you say, Jonathan Rumi? I'm uh, more of a Metallica guy myself. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I grew up with them. Yep. We're, we always love who we grew up with. That's it. It's so nostalgic. And, yeah. But they are objectively a better band. I mean, that's no knock on They're Dave Mustaine band. or Megadeth. I think a, I think I admire their, their songwriting capabilities from, from the very, very beginning. I mean... Metallica? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. even just, you know, like... Uh, I just go back to like the one of the ones that brought one. I mean, yeah. just... When yeah. You think about like you're you're in the story. You're in the story. Every one of their songs, like you're in. I had no idea we'd be talking about Metallica. Today. I'm story. so excited. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm a, I hear you're a musician. I'm not good. What do you play? Guitar. Guitar. I'm a drummer. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. My sister's extremely good. Really? Emma Fred, look her up. I'm like slightly better than a strum around a campfire yeah. guy. That's great. I was in a metal band in high school. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. The one, what I think I love about Metallica is the vulnerability of Hetfield. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's had his demons and he has grown so much. In the uh, documentary, I don't know if you saw it, Some Kind of Monster. I haven't seen it yet. It's like he made an accidental, terrific argument for saving sex to marriage and being faithful. Whoa. He talked about how, you know, in his younger years, getting drunk, waking up next to someone. I don't know yeah. who she is. I've got a show to play. I'm exhausted. Yeah. And now at this point, he, he had married, had children. He's like, life's so much more exciting now when you're awake and in the, in the now. Clear. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's so true. Like sin seems exciting and then ends up so boring. Yeah. Uh, the call to sanctity looks burdensome, but leads to life. Yeah. It opens up so many more avenues to joy, I think, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's night and day. It's night and day. Like, yeah, having, having, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, when I was younger, I grew up in New York and bars were just a part of the thing, a, a part of it. And like, there were moments where I would be like, well, what was I, where was I last night? You know? Mm -hmm. And, and I have, I have no, uh, I've lost no sleep, not living in that life since, since. I've changed my, you know, my, my, my preferences, my predilections towards just being lucid and mm -hmm. just being able to have conversations that I remember and like um, being able to just in, like enjoy and feel the life I'm living versus being numbed out to it. And so many people, for so many reasons, you know, they choose the numbing. And then when you realize that like, well, why are you choosing the numbing? What is causing that? And what would be a, a much better replacement about, to that and it's like a life in christ is like the only option it's the only option that actually allows you to to transcend and feel mm. what it is that we're meant to feel on in our in our time during our time here on earth before we get to the ultimate reality it's also painful to unnumb you know that feeling of being outside in the snow maybe mm -hmm. playing with snowballs building a snowman and you come inside and you put your hands by the fire and it's excruciating as yeah. you go from numb to feeling again. Yeah. And uh, there's a and numbness takes a lot of forms. Alcohol, but yeah. today the drug of choice is doom scrolling, mm. watching that political obsession with what's going on. Well, we never detach from this system. It was uh, Blaise Pascal who said, um, all of the ills of modern man boil down to the fact that man does not know how to sit alone in a dark room silently. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the phone can do that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's what I love about you know adoration chapels. Yeah, just sitting in a room silently with Jesus, and it's there's a overwhelming sense of peace that I get. And any any bad day is completely changed by just sitting in His presence. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor: leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.